Well, it is week seven of the LCS. We're done with week seven of the LCS. It's actually all done. But we do have coverage brought to you by Alien Mary here in this interview with DeMonte, who is uh, fresh off of a, a victory against 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves seemed like they were on the up and up. You know, they beat Cloud9 and everybody was all excited about it. And I feel like they're not they're not that anymore, DeMonte. I mean, you know what they say, Travis. Even a squirrel, even a blind squirrel gets a nut every now and then. Is that what they say? Yeah. Can I find that on your Twitter with the low pearls of wisdom that you have on here? Maybe, maybe like sometime in the last three years I've tweeted that, but yeah. What is, um, all right, well, first off, let's get the game out of the way. What, what how did everything go down in that game for you against 100 Thieves? Because I think I actually like looked at the lineup of games today and I was like, oh, these are all going to be pretty good. And I felt like they were all pretty good and that game was pretty good. Uh, Wait, what's your question? <laughs> You're asking like how the game went. I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring you the same level of interview that you brought me that you usually bring me. I'm turning this around on you. I'm just gonna throw random shit out there and see if you can respond to it. Okay, I mean the game against Hundred Thieves. I mean we just played an Olaf comp. That's about it. And then we killed them all. And I played Zoe. And then I landed some skill shots. And then I killed some people. And I one shot Cody Sun. And that, yeah, get fucking one shot Cody Sun. I sorry. All right, let's let's move on to the now that we've discussed the game. Let's move on to the real stuff. You seem to have an obsession with your coaches, uh, and I'm realizing that from social media. For instance, you wrote dub 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 at NRO. Please do better. Dub 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 dub. Can you elaborate on what that means? Yeah, I mean, so basically, League of Legends in 2020 season 10 has evolved to the point where the game doesn't actually matter, but it's kind of like chess, where just the draft matters. So. Basically, like right now, we're seven wins, seven losses, right? Basically, all that means is that we won draft seven times and we've lost draft seven times. Okay. So, basically, all I'm saying is like, if Anero was a bit better of a coach, we probably would be 14 and 0 right now. All right. Have you provided this feedback to him? I I tell him every day, every every single day of practice. I so I tell him literally Tuesday through Sunday, please fix your drafts, Anero. And I don't know, it just it only it's 50 percent ratio. Okay. Do you actually? I what do you think is actually the the ratio of draft to in game decision making? Like, how much are are these games getting won and lost via the draft? If if you have two evenly skilled teams, I feel like draft probably has. I, I don't know the percentage, but I feel like it's pretty high. Like, if you have two even teams and one team just wins draft, it's probably like seventy eighty percent chance that team's gonna win. So, so how often are your losses actually because of draft? I told you, 100% of the time. 100% of the time? We're literally the best team in the league, bro. What? So if you just drafted C9 comps, could you beat everybody? I mean, maybe if we had Reaper, we would just beat everybody. Yeah, that's if that's what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... I, you're implying that it's the draft issue. So I, I theoretically, just playing... If you guys are so good, theoretically, you should be able to play the comps that they play that let them win. I mean, honestly, if you if you look at our drafts, we play the same shit as C9, anyways. <laughs> okay. So then it, maybe it's not about draft. Yeah, maybe, but you know, we're just spewing memes. Yes. Okay. And then you also meme on Raz. Yeah. Why? Because he, because he's my coach as well. Okay. I thought he's the academy coach. Yeah, but it's like we're a ten man unit, you know. Are you? There, there's no I in team, and Golden Guardians is a team with ten players and like five coaches. There's an I in Golden Guardians. Yeah, but you can take it out if you want. Golden Guard Guardians. Guard yeah. Okay. I see. Very insightful stuff. Wait, you're, but you're not a ten man roster because you guys aren't having people trade up and down. Yeah, I mean it's not a true ten man roster, but it's like we're family here, you know. Okay. We're family here, like much like uh, the Olive Garden. <laughs> what you the guys are the home? olive isn't it olive garden when you're here your family or whatever isn't that their I thing don't know, dude. it's probably like applebee's or something maybe I'm it at, is olive garden but olive i don't garden. i don't eat that i don't eat it applebee's i don't eat it olive garden i don't know a travis maybe yeah when you're are, here your the... family oh is that just because you make so much money that you don't want to eat at these no. you don't want to slum it those are just boomer restaurants bro okay i i don't to be fair i have it i don't remember the last time i uh i've eaten in an olive garden uh, yard house is pretty good. You ever been to a yard house? Yeah, it's like, isn't that like 
Texas barbecue kind of stuff, or am I wrong? No. Anyway, okay. so <laughs> so you are a family, much like the Olive Garden. And uh, it feels like, do you, do you feel like this is your redemption tour split? Like you're going around beating up on a bunch of people? Um, do you feel like you're validating and vindicating yourself? I mean, obviously you had the dub, uh, dub Nation tweet at Dignitas last time, but or last week. But do you, do you feel like you're really showing up and proving yourself in these games? Um, I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm not like some superstar carry of this team. I, it's not really my role that I've like found myself in. So it's not like I'm sitting here just smurfing on everyone or anything. But I've like really enjoyed the progress that I've been able to make with the team. And like, I feel like I've been able to bring a lot to the team for team play stuff, which has kind of made us stronger against the top teams, I would say. Because Golden Guardians were never like a bottom team or a super weak team, but they would, could never beat the top teams, I felt. Yeah, he's pretty middle of the pack, right? Yeah, it was always like middle of the pack, and I mean we're middle of the pack again. But sitting at seven seven with four games left is pretty solid since we only had one week of practice before the split started. So like hopefully if we just keep it going, we have like a couple more weeks. I, I think it's really important that we get the uh, top six, so we have double elimination and playoffs. Because I actually think that's really important and something that not many people are talking about is the fact that if you actually lose a best of five and you can still play another best of five after. You can learn so much more in best of fives than you can from any like best of one or scrims. Yeah. So I've been I've been paying attention to you, but I've also been looking at the schedule to see what you got coming up. So next week you got Cloud Nine, and then you have. Wait, where did it go? CLG. CLG. Yeah. So, do you think you can beat Cloud Nine? I mean, they just dropped a TL, right? Yeah, I mean, we can definitely beat Cloud9. Even our other game versus Cloud9, uh, we had a huge early game lead. We kind of just panicked and lost it because we were like, oh, God, we're playing versus Cloud9. What, what do we do, guys? And then uh, we just do the game. But uh, either way, I mean, Cloud9 is like the same level as Team Liquid, I would say. So either way, hopefully we'll go 1-1 next week. But like, obviously, we're going to shoot for the 2-0. And I think C9 is looking beatable. So then the following week, you have TSM and you have EG. Do you think that's a 2 week for you? I would say so, yeah. I think TSM and EG are both teams on a, like the same level as us. I feel like there's a lot of teams right below TL and C9 who all seem to be the pretty similar skill level. It sounds like you would potentially predict, you would you would estimate out a, maybe a 3-1 for you over the next four games. Yeah, I would say 3-1 was, is pretty like good. Uh, Which I guess. think puts you at 10-8. and eight. Yeah. You're seven seven right now, right? So, okay, yeah. I mean that, that that's a pretty good chance that you end up in the top six with that. I feel like, especially if, like, I mean, it does feel like Dig and Immortals are just going to finish bottom two. Uh, obviously, Dig won today, but I don't know. What is your impression of your former team, uh, given their current standing? I feel like Dignitas are doing a lot better in these last couple of weeks. I feel like I don't I don't know what it is about when we play 100 Thieves, but I feel like every time we play 100 Thieves, they seem pretty bad. So I feel like there's a chance that Dignitas can take the 100 Thieves spot for playoffs, but I don't know. For some reason, whenever 100 Thieves play anyone else, they look pretty good. So it's possible that... I feel like those two teams are pretty neck and neck. Okay. So you expect one of those to drop down to... Or one of those to be... To finish bottom two. Yeah. But you're not sure which one. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Any other good tweets that we got over here? I wake up every fucking day and all I want to do is fucking pick Galio. You like that? Yeah. Mateus gave you an XD uh, in response to that. This is just tweet review. July 23rd, you tweeted yo. That was it. You just wrote yo. Absolutely. Is that in reference to something? Um, No. I, just was, I think I just woke up and I just wanted some interactions. Oh, I tweeted out like the other day. I was like, can you guys tweet me some memes? And it was, so many banger memes came to me. Okay. It was insane. Oh, dude, Travis, you know what I started doing? No. You want? You, can I plug my... Can I Can I selfless plug here? Yeah. Okay, so I, I made a YouTube channel, Travis, and I've been okay. uploading my stream VODs on it and... Just the VODs stuff. or... No, no, no. Like, like, it's like highlights and stuff. So I, I have an editor and everything, and I'm like streaming. I'm like doing content, like a mature human adult at youtube.com slash Demonte Gaming. Thank you. Okay. You know, I started a YouTube channel recently. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you put me in the like uh, description of this <laughs> YouTube channel, actually? <laughs> or the, of, of this? this video? Yeah. The top comment will be somebody linking your YouTube channel, 
I would, I, I would love that. Because and I will pin it. Actually? Yeah. That's actually huge, but, Travis. Wait, uh, I to I, lately, I've been pinning comments about how I need people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm not going to do that for this, but I do hope that people watching this right now will subscribe if they haven't already. Right. You got to spread the wealth, bro. How, I feel like I've, I've given you so much to your brand and to your everything. But you, you got to like spread it to me, you know, like you gotta I get... just said that I would pin a comment with your a link to your YouTube channel on it. Wait, but you just said that you were not going to do it. No, right I said after. I said in the recently I've been pinning my own comments oh. saying, please subscribe. Oh, I am not going to do that for this video. So I am selfishly selling because we're just at the sellout portion, apparently, of this interview. I am selfishly selling out and saying, hey, people should subscribe to the channel right now. Like stop whatever they're doing. Maybe they have it on a second screen. Maybe they've got a game going. They need to alt tab out and subscribe to my channel, and then go to the top comment, which theoretically, by the way, should be you. Like you should be the one that were, that is that comment. You should say like, "Hey guys, thanks for the interview." Broxa does this. Oh, really? Broxa That's comments on his own interviews and says like, "Thanks for the interview," and then it increases the chance people are going to click over and subscribe to him. That's pretty smurf. I'm going to do that for sure. Okay. Thank there you. you go. You're actually you're actually lecturing me on how to up my social media game right now. Yes. Yes. Well, I try. Uh, I I tweeted a while ago. Hey, if any pro players need questions around like, you know, how their interviews go, or they want feedback, or like kind of like brand ideas and how to conduct themselves and like interviews and content, I'd be super happy to do that. No one messaged me. Not I'm, a I'm single gonna, pro player. Travis, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't see the tweet, but I'm gonna message you right after this. Okay. Because I feel like it is important, you know? I'm going to look at your YouTube channel right now. Demonte Gaming is what it is. It's, it's just Demonte, but I have like a scuffed... Uh, uh, yeah, your like URL thing. is Demonte Gaming. Yeah, yeah, the URL is Demonte Gaming. Okay. Uh, your videos are getting anywhere from 270 to 500 views, it looks like. So you yeah. need a channel trailer. That's one thing, is you should have like a video that's playing when I land on this page that's like... Like an intro video? It could, yeah, it could be you saying like, "Hey guys, I've got a channel that's coming, uh, or I've got videos that are coming. Please subscribe. Here's who I am. Here's, or maybe what you want to do. Like, hey, I want to showcase like the really funny videos or whatever. Um, yeah. Have you tweeted? I don't think you've tweeted at all these videos either. No, I have. I have for sure. Okay. Is the new champ broken? Okay, I see that. How to play Zoe? Do you have the Zoe guide? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, I, I just spam tweet Twitter all day long, so it's probably so far away. Okay, I see it. No, it's not that far back. It's all, it, I scrolled like three times. Um, all right, that's good. So you've you've gotten uh, 3K video views this month on this. 3.02. I've got a little thing here. And you've released seven view videos. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what is considered good on YouTube because I, I just never did it before. I mean, I yeah. made a couple of vlogs in the past, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, not so clutch gamers week three LCS vlog. Yeah, yeah. You've definitely got some stuff. Oh, this there's a Hey, I'm Demonte video. You could Yo, just pin like, this as the trailer. But that's like a entire. Uh, that's like an actual video. I get. I guess it's kind of an intro video. Yeah. But I mean, so I mean, theoretically, yes, you get like a really quick video. I actually have been bugging Broden for like a year to make one for me. Um, but yeah, like a very splashy, like, even if it's just like a 30, like, welcome to the channel. And it plays like music and stuff like What's that. What's up, YouTube? Yeah. Like that? Yes. You gotta, but like, you could do energy, this. Like... You could pin and have this, this, hey, I'm Demonte video as your trailer. So that the first thing people see are you like talking to them and explaining what's up. Can you uh, tell me how to pin it like in real time right now? Um, I, take too long? let me see if I can go to my channel. I think you go to your page and then you hit, there's like a customized channel button okay, customize up on the, channel. on the top, right? Do you see that? Yeah, I'm there. And then, uh, there should be a panel up at the top that says like for new visitors or for returning subscribers. And there's like a pencil and you can click that and then you can decide what you want to pin. So for new visitors, there's a video. The first video is me next to a body pillow. Oh. And, and for returning subscribers, it's our Alienware announcement from... Uh, nice. I just did back. it. Yeah. You did, you did it? it? Yeah, I did it. Okay, I'm going to refresh. Nice. Oh, wait, how, maybe I need to save it. Yo, what's up, YouTube? No? Oh, yeah, I see it. Channel? It's nice. auto-playing now. Yes, there you go. Literally, you just channel. upped my YouTube game in real time. That was... Yes. This is the best interview ever. It's like a lecture. It's not even It's just here to help you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the stuff that I could, you could be... Pro players could be talking to me about. But also, yeah, but specifically, they could be talking about how... 
to be more interesting in interviews. Because uh, I gotta be honest, some of them are not interesting. Pro, some pro players are not interesting. That's why in you interviews. interview me all the time, Travis. Because I'm an inter- I'm an interesting guy who says wacky and random stuff. You know. Yeah, I think it's more just because um, you probably have more Twitter followers than other people on your team. Oh, so you actually... Wait, how many of this close, closer probably has a ton, right? Because of the Turkish. Yeah, he has a lot of fans. Oh, he's at 29.3 and you're at 29.5. Boom! You're point two oh. above him. I actually passed him recently then. Does who he have a lot from back in? Oh, who he has sixty k. Okay, you're half. You're half. I should be interviewing who he all the time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I can go get him right now. I feel oh. like kind of kind of disrespected in the middle of this interview. Okay, show. Hanser has one hundred forty one k. Okay, my my team is full of superstars. Yeah, he's got the TSM. But it's not fair. They're all legacy. from like the era of League of Legends when I feel like everyone just followed them for fun. I don't yeah. know. Like now you have to you have to scrape and crawl your way to. I have to try so hard followers. to get followers. Yes. It's true. Actually, I don't even know. It's, it used to be like streaming was like a huge thing. You know, you could stream a ton and get a ton of, of people. And now I feel like the new players have a hard time. Yeah, it's pretty getting hard. Getting people off of stream. I've, I've like just recently started getting more viewers on my stream and I only get like 200 to 300 on average. But like for the longest time, I was like 50 viewer streamer as an yeah. LCS player. Do you like the 200, 300? Do you feel like that's significant enough for you? Is that good? I mean, I like it because my chat is always moving and I have like a lot of returning Twitch followers and like, yeah. like, like I see the same people all the time and I really like it. It's like a community basically that I know everyone. It's not like the, the big streamers when everyone just is spamming all the time. So do you ever debut your videos on, on Twitch? No. Should I do that? So this is a thing I really like to do It's like, I'll do hotline league tomorrow night and I will. I will play either before or after some of my interviews and then I get to see them. Or like if I work on a big feature or something with, with Broden, I will always put it on my Twitch channel because it's, it's fun. I won't turn on the stream just to like play a 10 minute video, but I will yeah. incorporate it into the stream and it's like really fun to see people's reactions and it feels, feels really good. Uh, Ooh, you can, I gotta try that. Get ideas on the content. Yeah. That's a, something that I really like doing. I can do more of that. You can also, by the way, you can film, so I, I, it looks like these are mostly stream highlights, but one thing I do sometimes is I'll do, you know, like when I do like the big talking vlog things, I will record the, the vlog. Like I did that video where I was, um, talking about the salaries for each of the teams. And that was something that I recorded. I did, I live streamed the whole thing and then I went and edited it and polished it up in premiere after. Ooh, that's so something that, you can also do. You're basically making content with yes, content it's a double dip yeah because well, i make way more money off of twitch uh Ooh. than i do off of youtube even though like way more of my time and energy is spent on yeah on youtube it's very ironic you got the the twitch prime that's that's uh the money maker yeah no twitch prime is, is where it's at thank you jeff bezos yeah you know every time someone subs to you with twitch prime it's basically jeff bezos is just like kicking you some pennies he's got to think know about if it that's that way. true what? It's definitely true. He's just like has so much money. He's just he's just giving you two point five dollars because he can. Yeah. Well, Amazon it's it's chilling. also but that person paid for access to get to Prime. Like yeah. People pay Jeff, for Twitch for yeah, for Amazon Prime. They pay for Amazon Prime, but also Jeff Bezos is just like, bro, you can have this two point five dollars. It's really chill. It's like Jeff Bezos still wins in the end, right? Because he's still like yes, Twitch- but that's not why he's giving it. He he's doing it because it's a good business strategy. Yeah, it's not him, it's Amazon. But he's smurfing either way. Jeff Bezos is a smurf. He That's just makes true. too much money. I do wish he paid his uh, warehouse workers a little bit more. I agree, it, Travis. Amazon makes a lot of money. It would be great if they like paid people good amounts of money for working for them, I think, is my stance. Yeah. You doing anything besides playing League these days? What am I doing with my life? Uh Dude, life is really boring right now. I feel like all I do is play League and listen to music, I guess. <laughs> like, there's not much to do because, I mean, I just, I just, I don't know what to do because everything is closed. All the stuff I used to do is closed. What are the like, things that you want to do that are closed? Um, I mean. you Are you 21 yet? 
Yeah, I'm 21. So okay. like, like fun stuff. Like when I have a like free time, go like drinking or something, and go to a bar or like go to a club or something. But all that stuff has been closed for like seven months now. Yeah. So like, I would love to do that, but you just can't. So I just kind of sit in my room and chill. I like playing video games. I do a lot of that. What video games are you playing? Uh, so I just went back and beat Borderlands Three with a friend recently. We did like co-op campaign through Borderlands Three. Um, uh, Death Stranding came out for PC, so I've been streaming and enjoying that. That's fun. I already beat it on PlayStation, but it's a pretty good game. Uh, I play a ton of Total War Warhammer 2, which is like, it's kind of like, it's what I, I was actually doing that while I was waiting for you to finish your other interview. It's like a Civ game, but with like real-time battles, which is pretty great. That's cool. I like Civ uh, a lot. I play a lot of Runeterra. I know everybody says that that game is like dead or doesn't exist or whatever, but I actually think there's a lot of people that play it. Legends of Runeterra, the card game. Dude, I totally forgot that even existed. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to lie. I know. Well, what happens is people say, I don't play that game. So that game is not popular. You know, it's it's a funny situation. It's like Minecraft is pretty popular. I don't play Minecraft. Though oh, I did I love, once. I, I played Minecraft. it with Ovali recently for a sponsor thing. It was fun. I love Minecraft. Minecraft is like one of the best games ever. Oh, I yeah? probably put in more hours on Minecraft. Actually, it's probably like League of Legends is number one. And then Call of Duty, and then Minecraft for me. Like, for hours played in my life. World of Warcraft is still probably the biggest, most hours played for me out of any game. Because I uh, I pretty much spent entire years of my life only playing World of Warcraft, so. Like many of us, but not yeah. me. I'd yeah. never played a while. Well, Actually, I played, I played the, uh, what's the most recent expansion? Uh, not WoW Classic, but the one right before it. Yeah. I played I that one. Now I can't remember the name of it. Um, why am I uh, not Shadowland? Oh, Battle for Azeroth. Yeah, yeah, I played that. It was pretty fun for a while. Yeah. I'm only thinking of Shadowlands now. That's why I couldn't remember. Yeah. Well, there you go. You played it. Yep. Is there anything you want to say to any of your fans out there, Demonte? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, my fans are pretty dope. I have a like an insane community of people who are following me and just like talks to me all the time in my tw like DMs or on my Discord. I don't You're know. Sliding I into your a... DMs. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of handsome men in my DMs for sure, and uh, I don't know. I, I try to respond to all my DMs and stuff. So if you guys ever want to talk to me, just hit me up in the DMs or join my Discord or anything, and I'll talk to you guys. So I here's my problem. Somebody messages me, and they I always want to reply, right? Because they'll send like a nice, easy message that I can I can respond to. The problem is once you reply, they try to turn it into a conversation. And then I, and then I'm like, okay, but I got to go work. So I can't like have a lot of conversations with everybody in my DMS. So it's, yeah. it's one of the big issues that I have. Do they get mad at you if you don't respond? Like, uh, I just, it, it feels bad, uh, to me where like, I just leave them. I need, I need like a system wherein people can DM me. I reply once, but then they can't reply. You know what I mean? You can just reply with like one word and make it seem like you don't want to talk. No, about no, it. I don't want to do that. I will give like a well thought out, cool reply, but I don't want it to become like. And now we yeah. can talk anytime, you know. Yeah, I mean, people should just understand that you're a superstar, Travis, and that it's. That's okay not for accurate. You. I just have stuff I need to do. You yeah, play these I mean, video games. You have stuff that you have to do because you're a superstar. Because these fans want to talk to you, Travis Gafford, because you're a superstar, bro. I just like, wish. I don't know. For me, I just respond to them whenever I can, and if they get mad at me for not responding to them, which hasn't happened yet, thankfully. I don't like, think they get mad. I just feel bad then that I've just ghosted their their reply. I'm sure they understand, Travis. Like literally, my DMs with some people look like they will DM me one month, and I literally don't respond for two months, and then I just DM them again because I've just had free time and looked through my DMs, and then that's our conversation. We'd like a, every two months we talk. Okay. So this sure. is like your family and friends. <laughs> no, not family and friends, man. It's like this is yeah, my mom the other day. Messes her back for the first time in two months. <laughs> uh, Travis, you can't do that, bro. Your mom loves you. Yeah. I know she does. Anyway, I was I it was more of a situation, a, a theoretical scenario with you and your parents because you're the one that leaves people on red for months at a time. No, not not my not my family, because family is number one. Family Are you looking at something on the screen right now? I was looking at your forehead. 
I don't think you were looking at uh, me. I think you had something open. You were no, browsing. No, I, literally, I had Skype like on my mouse. Like the top bar was on my mouse, so I was like moving it around like in circles, and then I was just looking at your forehead. Okay. Well, what do you think of it? It's very nice and People, shiny. People, yeah, I've had a couple comments saying that I'm, but I'm not. I'm not losing my hair. This is about as much forehead as I've always had. Maybe it's a lot, but yeah. You have a nice like. You have a nice like like the Superman hair. Like yeah, the... I try. I that's my preference is for it to do kind of like a, but sometimes it gets too long or too short, and it's yeah, it's worth. Nice, now I have it too. This was you a great interview, Travis. You we can check out the rest of my coverage of all oh. things esports right here on. on my YouTube channel. Come on, dude. Hey, folks, I have a big request from you. It's actually the easiest request ever, but it would mean a lot to me. Can you hit the subscribe button? I'm trying to see how many people I can get to subscribe just directly from these videos by asking them the challenge. And it would actually mean a lot for me because, uh, I don't know, just trying to, to feel good about seeing the numbers go up. 2020 is a, it's a tough year. And so uh, the one thing that gives me the dopamine hits at war is just seeing my subscriber numbers go up. So if you could subscribe, that would be great. Also, Please check out alienware.com slash Travis. There's a link in the video description below. You can use Travis 10 off Q2 to save some good cash on Alienware products like the computer that's behind me uh, or even their newer models. This one's a, a little bit older. You can still buy this. It's great. But they also have the latest and greatest up on the Alienware site. And uh, you can check it out. Again, alienware.com slash Travis. Thanks so much to them for their support. And I got to say, like, I know I'm kind of overexposed right now, but I'm feeling... I'm liking this look for me. I think this is this is a new look.